Ciao fellas, welcome to today's video. I'm super excited to do this video because it's really gonna be focusing on healthcare. So this is my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful baby girl Florence. And as you can see, she has fluoro pink, orange fuchsia hair going on. Now she was a hair model for a hair colorist a few months ago. And she said that obviously since she got it colored by them, her hair's just been really damaged. It's breaking off a lot. So today we're gonna be trying to protect that. So the first thing I'm doing is applying a lot, and I mean a lot, I'm not being stingy with this. I'm applying a lot of black Jamaican castor oil. And then this is a technique that I love to do on my clients. While I'm applying the oil, I dip them down really fast, down and up, to give them instant blood circulation. This is gonna help a lot to get your hair, um, your hair follicles up and going, and it's gonna stimulate fast growth and thickness. So doing this before you put the wig on is a great little tip. Now she's just gonna be brushing her hair back and putting an elastic band around it to make a little bun. You can also braid your hair down if you like, or this is another option. Now she is gonna be using a wig cap today because her hair is pink and the unit that we're using today is dark. If you don't use a wig cap, it means that there'll be pink under the lace. So you only need a wig cap really if your wig and your natural hair color don't match. And then she's applying her foundation to make sure that it matches. And we're gonna be applying the unit today. It's a light brown lace and then I just applied her foundation onto the lace so it matches. We're gonna be using a little bit of got to be glue. So she's just going over with some alcohol just to clean the area of her hairline. When you're using a unit with an elastic band, which all of my wigs come with, it's super easy to just pop on really quick, but you don't get ear coverage with an elastic band unit. So I got her to clean the area with an alcohol wipe just so we can put a little bit of got to be glued around the ear. Now, just make sure when your band is on, it's really low. See how she put it on a little bit high and I just readjusted it for her. Now I'm just going to be installing the four clips that your unit comes with. You don't have to wear these, but if you wanted to lift your hair up a little bit more, you can. Now this part, I get a lot of questions about. I really do recommend for you to cut in like a U shape around your ear, around your unit. It's just gonna mean that you get more coverage on your sideburn area and it also means that the wig won't be um, pushing down on your ear. So it's really easy, you just lift the wig up, you hold the sideburns down like you want and then you just cut around it. Now I'm just adding a little bit of the got to be glued with my toothbrush and fingers around the ear line. Uh, sorry, the hairline area where the sideburns are, just to make sure that she is getting full coverage around that area. So with the elastic band, you get you don't need to use anything, but if you do want to lift it up, using got to be glued will help a lot to set the baby hairs to make sure that it's not shifting, and it just gives you that extra security. It doesn't damage your hairline. Super easy to take off. It comes off with water. So if you did want something a little bit more secure, this is a really great option for you. Now I'm just making sure that she's holding the hairline down and setting it. And then I thought to set the baby hairs, I'll just go in with a little bit more got to be glued here just to give her a little bit more security. So I'm not using the got to be glued underneath the lace for the rest of the hairline. I'm literally just popping it on. And here I'm just making sure that her um, wig cap is sitting right. So I'm just applying the gel on and then I'm just gonna use my comb and you can use an eyebrow brush or a toothbrush and just set the baby hairs how you like. The wig comes with baby hairs, but you just need to set them down however you like. So the front's done, so now I'm gonna be doing the back. I'm just using a baby wipe, or like a makeup remover wipe. You can use this also if you don't have alcohol wipes. Then I'm applying a generous amount of the got to be glued to make sure that she gets really good coverage and it's really secure at the back because sometimes when you do a high bun, um, it can lift a little bit. So I blow dried it for about 10 seconds. I made sure it was really nice and sticky. Now I'm just using my fingers and my comb to push through to make sure that it's really securing nicely. And then after I do this, I'm just sort of playing around with it, trying to make sure it's securing really well. And then I'm going to set it with her scarf. So using a scarf or like an old stocking is really good, just to wrap it around the hairline. And I like to leave it for about 10 minutes while the wig's drying. And this is gonna make a massive difference to how secure the wig sits. So if you do wanna leave your unit on for maybe like a week or a week and a half with got to be glued, I would definitely suggest to use um, a scarf. Too late to take care of me
go good still Even if I got a man now At least you know where I stand now